Contemporary masculinity is a crock of shit. I recently came to the epith- epiphany that I'm not like most guys. I read this self-help book and I got very defensive because it seemed as if the author's criticism or just approach was unfair. The author was talking as if all men are concerned about is sex. That's their first priority. They're obsessed with sex. They're obsessed with fucking women. And also the book said men don't like self-help material. I found this particularly offensive because I read self-help books all the time and try to implement their suggestions into my life. I wrote in my live journal about this and then one of my live journal friends commented it's because that's the way men are. And then it dawned on me. Wait, she had a point. I've been idealistic about men. I have only used my experience and sometimes we can forget that our own experience may not be other people's. It's all we have to make sense of the world from. I don't think about screwing women 24-7. I'm not the norm. Some of you right now are surely saying, Aha! He's gay I knew all along. He's going to come out of the closet and say he's gay. That's not what I'm going to say because I'm not gay. I said I don't think about screwing women 24 Seven. In this black and white society of ours, in many people's mind that means if you're not the norm of masculinity, then you are gay. Even the people who are so-called gender benders have very narrow categorizations. You're either heterosexual male, which means you think about sex 24-7 with women, or you're gay. Or you're transgender. That's it. That's all the options. But we don't fall into all those categories. Not all of us. I am the deviation. I've wondered that maybe I had some problems. And maybe that's why I deviate. But maybe I'm not wrong. I'm not saying I never think about sex. I just don't think about it 24-7. Supposedly men think about it once a minute. I find that so fucking obsessive. That's insane. Supposedly testosterone is supposed to be piercing through your every pore if you're a male. I have testosterone in me, but not such a great amount. To some that's a problem? I don't think that's necessarily a problem. My energy is directed in a different way. That doesn't mean I'm gay. That just means I'm a different type of heterosexual. The definition of heterosexual is too limited in its current form. Heterosexuality is more than what people make it out to be. There are some who are surely out there trying to expand this. Robert Bly, for one, is trying to believe men should be more well-developed. Masculinity should be broadened. His books are very good. And the Mankind Project is good. He talks about men should feel emotion. I'm a very emotional person. I don't think about sex and emotional. You're saying gay, gay, gay. No, 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 no. I read all these self-help books about men and I find out besides those two main things, Most of the other things apply to me. I read men are from Mars, women are from Venus. And almost everything hits it on the head. Sex is not the first priority of my life. I have a mission to achieve. So sex is subordinate to everything. I'm not a prude. I don't think sex is inherently bad. I'm just not obsessed with it. A lot of people think there's something wrong with me because of that. The norm of masculinity means our heroes have to be Snoop Doggy Dog, 
Howard Stern, Al Bundy, Mike Tyson. I don't want to be like those fools. I think there's better models. There's better roles to strive for. I think these people are not the best specimens of masculinity out there. Thinking about sex is not 24-7 is not a noble thing. It's better to think about higher things. Intellectual pursuits. Think about spirituality. Gandhi, Jesus, Buddha were all men. None of them were gay. Yet they didn't think about sex 24-7. I think that's better to strive for than the mainstream. If you go to the doctor and you're not having testosterone go through your pores 24-7, they'll say there's something wrong with you if you're a male. I don't think there's something wrong with that. I don't think there's nothing wrong with Jesus, Buddha, Gandhi. I don't think there's wrong with the intellectual people. I read in one book called something to the effect of why men can't read maps and why women can't read maps and men don't share their feelings. I don't even remember exactly what it's called, but something to that effect said your voice shows how much testosterone you have. If you have a deep voice in your man, that's a lot of testosterone. It is interesting because my voice is not very deep. That means I don't have much testosterone going through me. A lot of people say he has a gay voice. No. I think about women. I find women attractive. I just don't think about them 24-7. Interestingly, Jellaby Afra, lead singer of the Ed Kennedys, has a very high-pitched voice for a male. He's also down about this whole masculine bullshit notion. Ron Paul doesn't have a very deep voice, does he? He's not thinking about sex 24-7. He's thinking about more noble things. I'd rather be like these two people than be like Snoop Doggy Dog, L. Bundy, Howard Stern, or Mike Tyson. These people are doing great things. Different political ideology, they're doing great things. Contemporary masculinity is in stark opposition to spirituality. It is virtually contradictory to be a contemporary male and follow the norms of society and be spiritual. Spirituality teaches us to be humble. Masculinity by its very nature says you don't be humble. You act like you're so tough that nothing can stop you. You don't admit any weaknesses or vulnerabilities. You don't share emotions because men don't have emotions. I love emotions. That must mean you're gay. No, it doesn't. You are a narrow-minded idiot if you can't see beyond that. It's alarming to me that most men are thinking about sex 24-7. Sex enters my mind, certainly, but it's not the only thought that's there. I just can't understand how that drives people. Non-stop. Spirituality means having a mission. And I'd rather have a mission that's something more significant and sophisticated than fucking as many chicks as I can. Don't get me wrong. I want to have sex. But I want to do it right. I want to put the mission first and foremost. I'm not saying that any sexual activity is wrong. I'm not saying pornography is wrong. I'm not saying prostitution is wrong. All I'm saying is everything must subordinate itself to the mission. Having an attractive wife is fine. But it's a problem if the mission is not first. The mission, the mission, the mission. Masculinity today says no. And I oppose it because of that.